Okay, numeric type conversion. Uh, this is going to help you if you're ever working with numbers and you need to do some sort of calculation. Uh, with numeric literals, um, as we've shown earlier, let's say we create a variable pi, we can simply do 3 plus um, you know, 0.14159, and that's going to create a double. Um, and because we're using numeric literals, there's no problem there. Now let's comment this out and show a little bit of different code where we specify uh, an int variable and a double variable and try and add them together to create a new uh, variable. And I, now of course we want this to be a double, right? Because when combining an int and a double, there's a decimal, so we need to create a double. Uh, but this is not going to compile. And the reason is, uh, in this example, the numeric literals, uh, the Swift compiler is able to recognize, okay, here's an int, here's a double, I'm going to create a double. Uh, but here, since this is a type safe programming language, uh, it sees, okay, I have a uh, int and I have a double, I'm trying to add them, that's not okay. So the way to get around this is using an initializer for whatever type you're trying to create. So we need to, for essentially, if we want pi to be a double, we need to add two doubles together. So you do that by just typing the name of the type, doing an open parentheses, and then a closing parentheses around whatever value you want to convert. So what this is doing is calling the initializer on the double type. And this initializer is going to take a lot of values, but it's not going to take every value in the whole world. Uh, one type it definitely does take is an int. And you can see here that pi now is a, uh, a double just like we would expect it to be, if you don't believe me. Here we'll put it down here, see, 3.142. Now something else to consider is if you're going to create a int from some floating number, either a float or a double, so let's say uh, var int pi. Sounds delicious. Um, so we're going to say a int variable plus a double variable. So again, we have an error just like we did last time. Now, rather than making this a int variable into a double and trying to add two doubles together to create a double, we want to add a int and an int together to make an int. So we do the exact opposite with creating a int initializer. Just use the open parentheses, uh, and now. Uh, int pi is a, oh, I put the int around the wrong thing. Excuse me. I need to put it around the double. And now int pi is a int. And the thing to remember is if you ever pass a floating number into the, the int initializer, it's going to uh, drop whatever decimal place is there. So an easy way to think of this is that it's going to simply round down the number. So for example, it passed in 0 0.14159, so it simply goes down to zero. So if you know we put something like 7.14159, uh, that takes it down to 7. 7 plus 3 equals 10. So just a little bit uh, to remember with numeric type conversion, uh, if you're ever going to be working with these different types and doing some computational things.